The long-awaited Mid-Journey 7 is here. Was it worth the wait? Well, here we are, Mid-Journey 7. And if you want to know if you have it, you can just look right here and it'll tell you. We have Mid-Journey 7. However, to get there, you need to personalize it by clicking this button, where you'll need to rate images, 200 images, so Midjourney knows, based on their algorithm, the types of images and results that you prefer. So that was a process, and as you can see here, here is my global V7 profile, but I also have a couple other mood boards. One is a pastel mood board and an Ansel mood board, and now they're easily accessible right here. You can turn off personalization very easily just by clicking this button. I think I'll leave it on. You still have the opportunity to make adjustments. I'm just going to create landscape for now, but of course you have stylization and weirdness and of course variety. We also have of course fast and turbo. We'll stick with fast. Mode is something to consider. If you go with raw, you'll actually get more photorealistic or cinematic imagery. So that's something you might want to consider. I'm going to leave it on raw. Now let's create so we can compare Midjourney 7 to what we were getting with the pretty good Midjourney 6. Now Midjourney has a draft mode now, which will allow you to actually run through your images and create images a lot faster. Lower resolution images, kind of like the way the do it over at Leonardo where I think they got some good inspiration. It can help your overall process and workflow by working faster. Just click on draft mode. In draft mode, you can use the voice mode, create an image of a dragon flying across a desert. And there you go, that was quick. Very nice, look at that. I think I like voice mode, let's try it again. In a previous video, we did a comparison, but of course we only had Mid-Journey 6 at the time. And the request was a photorealistic image of a construction worker on a futuristic city building using laser for work. And Mid-Journey really didn't do that great of a job. It was more, there was a lot of variety and there was some good stuff here, but it does, didn't do as good of a job. Let's try it again. Now, I could just use this as the text by clicking Use Text, but I want to use voice mode again. Create a photorealistic image of a construction worker on a futuristic city building using a laser for work. There we go. Well, I'm going to say much better. Pretty complex if you want my opinion. Here's another one for comparison, model walking through a city with orange gloves. And this was all kind of odd. This was not bad, this was completely wrong. Uh, but let's use the same, same text. And let's see what we get. Well, the gloves are not that great there. That's interesting. Very realistic though. Still in the modern department. Interesting. Even the gloves are kind of interesting. Let's get out of draft mode and try it again and see if there's a difference. Okay, now we're kind of back into the smaller imagery, taking a little more time. Very nice. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think this is a better variety, a little bit different than draft mode? I think so. More personality. I like it. Very, very well done. Let's compare another one from Midjourney 6, and then let's compare to others that have been recently released, such as ChatGPT 4.0, as well as Rev.art, which have been excellent as of late. Oh, we got to do the panda fighting with the chicken, because it didn't do that well with 6.0. Let's see if it does a better job. And we won't do draft mode. Now, as you know, I am not making any other adjustments from the defaults. We're just making sure we're using 7. We are using RAW for higher quality, more realistic images, and of course, landscape. 
Well, like before, it wasn't that strong and did give us a variety of images. That's actually pretty good if you think about it because I didn't require a sword. But that's the nice thing about Mid Journeys. You can then say, hey, give me more of this one or that one. Let's do this again, but now let's try draft mode. A lot faster. Ah. Much more complex, although this is a cartoon, the complexity is really nice. Let's try this one. Of course, that put us directly into standard mode versus draft mode. Interesting. Very realistic. So now we're over at ChatGPT where we're going to use ChatGPT 03 Mini to get a prompt that will test all three of the current top image creators. Create a prompt. All right. So we're going to have it create a create a detailed, difficult prompt to test AI image generators. The prompt is about a futuristic female model in a city. Hey, we've got to stick with that theme. Here's our prompt. Feel free to pause to read it. Okay, here we go. We'll start off with Mid Journey but I'll show you what the other ones did first. First, here's Rev.art. Rev has been doing a great job. And here are the images that it created. All right, what did ChatGPT do? Per usual, taking a long time. And we only get one. I guess I, we could ask for multiple images. And here we are with ChatGPT, and yeah, this is pretty good. Um, it's very futuristic. It's it's good. It does still have kind of a, I don't know, an illustrative style, which is what the ChatGPTs have had in the past, especially with Dolly 3. But this is by far much better. Now for the big reveal. Let's see how MidJourney did. And there we go. Interesting, very good. Compared to Rev is certainly more colorful, but I think they all did a really good job. All, all three did a really good job. Each is going to have a little bit of a different style. And of course, of course you have stylistic options here if you want to play with that within Mid Journey. And that is a nice advantage of Mid Journey because you do have those stylistic details that you can play with. Now, I would say Leonardo has more than that, but I think Midjourney's quality overall is probably better than Leonardo, but Leonardo has a lot of bells and whistles. Let's do one more. Rewrite, rewrite, and create a more colorful version, more colorful, happy version of this. Let's see what happens. So I'm asking ChatGPT to create a more colorful, happy version. Do that. Want to create an image with the prompt? Yes. Okay, here we are with Rev. Much more colorful. Okay, what did ChatGPT do? Here's ChatGPT. Again, still has that illustrative feel to it. All right, let's see what MidJourney did. I think MidJourney won the day with these. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to hear about more AI for the creative, head on over to your local podcast station where you can listen to the Creative AI Show, where we are two creative guys talking AI.